Hey guys, so you know what? Let's change it up a bit. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. If you haven't seen my face before, my name is Sander, and in today's video, I have a very special one for you. Because today, I've not decided the title yet, but it is either gonna be testing new makeup products, or testing the brand new Sky High Mascara from Maybelline. So without further ado, let's test some new products. Okay, so I just primed using the Inglot Mattify Under Makeup Base. I really like this one. And before we start with the first product, I just checked the YouTube analytics and 62% of you are not subscribed. So if you want to see my face in the future, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell so you get notified when I post new videos. And as I don't have an upload schedule, you should also follow me on Snapchat and my Instagram at least I always update you on there there is a link to a link down below if you want to follow me so the first product we are going to test out is something that I didn't even know they had a new one of it is the Maybelline super stay full coverage foundation they have come out with a new packaging and a new formula which is the Maybelline Superstay Active Wear Foundation. This old one is 24 hour wear and this new one is 30 hour wear. So I am going to, everything I am going to test out is not open. So let's break the seal, get it open, get my Junoko sponge and let's get this nice and shaken and put some on my hand. I don't know if this is even my color, but we are going to find out. Hello, there we go. Some nice good squirts and let's see what this looks like. Okay, so I am having a little bit of issues. It says full coverage and it definitely is, but the thing I'm noticing is, and maybe I just need a pore filling primer, but I see that right here, my pores are showing very much. They are coming up in at least the mirror. I don't know how it looks on camera, but I am going to use the Plumping Pore Minimizing Face Primer on the other side, just to see if that makes any difference. Okay, so I applied the other side and the thing I'm noticing is that the Minimizing Primer is, it seems like, I did something good there because that is working but if you see some discoloration or patches along the way right here I don't know why but I had trouble blending it in I've been sitting for five minutes and trying to blend this in but it definitely is full coverage my pores are definitely showing with this on I do have as I showed you the super state 24 hour so I am going to try both of these and compare them and test them together because it is the same formula just active wear I don't know what that means but I am going to go ahead and do my brows contour concealer and I am going to be back for the next product all right so I am not done with my brows or anything but I wanted to just let you see what I'm seeing because this I've tried three different concealers. I've tried one from Hourglass, one from KVD, and one from Juvia's Place. And everyone keeps taking the foundation off. I do not know why, but I do not think it's their fault because I have other foundations that all work amazingly with. I will have to see what that is, but that's just why there are patches. So now I am going to do everything I told you off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so my base is done. I just contoured and everything. I know my nose looks terrible. That's where the next thing comes in because we are going to use the Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder Foundation. Yes, that's 
what I think it's called. I have the shade Soft Ivory. And the reason if this video is titled new, it is because this has been around for so long. And I just wanted to get it because I am obsessed with snatching my nose. So we are going to use this. I am going to get my Juno Co sponge and dig in here. Now I know Nikki Tutorials has been using this forever. I know she uses the Makeup Mecca one on a regular basis. This one, which is from Norway. Mm -hmm. I don't know how much I need of this. So I'm just going really good in. And then I am grabbing a mirror and I snatched this nose. Okay, so you really need to dig in here because it did not seem to have a lot of pigment. At least not the pigment I am used to in the Makeup Mecca one, which I'm obsessed with. Doesn't have nearly enough pigment. So I'm gonna just dig in even more. Really dig in and try this again. Okay, there we go. At least a little bit of pigment, but you gotta go deep into this okay so i am just going to leave that for a few seconds i might have to snatch it up again if i need to add some more bronzer but i used the um revolution this one in mega bronzer o2 warm and let's just dust the rest of this away okay so we definitely can live with that but i am going in with a bit more on the inner side to really define the bridge approximately 10 hours later okay so that definitely worked but i am not as excited for it as i am with the makeup mecca one now i am going to do my brows because i didn't do that i forgot and i am going to do my eyeshadow and i am going to be right back all right so i just added a cut crease moment because i am obsessed with that nowadays i added a liner and it's looking a little bit busted but the new thing we are all here for the sky high mascara so this i saw on tiktok on tiktok everywhere everybody tried this so i commented on maybelline's post on instagram and they commented that it was coming to norway in february and when i texted my local vida they told me they had it so i went the same day and picked it up and it has been laying there ever since i have not opened it so let's give this a whirl so this is I have not seen anything yet. Oh, I love the brush. Now let's see how it performs. Okay, so this is after one layer. I am pretty obsessed with it and I am, I am loving it so far. I'm gonna put it back and go in with my eyeliner again to fill in some blanks using my make queen lashes eyeliner two very boring minutes later that is a liner filled in so i am going in with a second layer of this mascara let's fill some more okay so that is two coats now this is i would maybe see a difference if i didn't have a liner on but i i mean it's pretty i feel it's pretty basic but i am going to do my bottom lash line and hopefully i don't smudge a few inches later okay so that is the mascara on i am going to do a final thoughts in the end of this video but for now i am going to put a lip on and i have a new favorite duo that i use i use the color pop lip liner in the shade curvy there is the lip liner on it takes some time but this result stunning so i am going to move on to lipstick and i just started to use the malibu delights essential matte lipstick in the shade 06 maple walnut this is from aoa studio aka shop miss a so the lip is complete but we have a final step which is lip gloss and I have been seeing some rave about the Lifter Gloss from Maybelline. Everything in this video that I've tried is from Maybelline. This is the Lifter Gloss in the shade 003 Moon. So not open yet. 
ASMR moments. And oh, I love the applicator. It is like the Fenty Beauty applicator. The Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm. Just for reference, I have that right here. And it is a, like, do you call it doe foot applicator, I think? And I'm not taking that gloss on my Lippity Doodas. Just smack it on. I'm going to use a brush. And I'm using one from Bougie Babe Cosmetics. If it is not sold out, you can get the entire set for a quick buck. Let's take this gloss on. Okay, that's just stunning. I love that. So now I am going to quickly put on some lashes and just for the hell of it, let's do a final reveal. Alright, so that is the finished look. I threw on some lashes from Shop Miss A. They are $1. I think they were. I threw on the style Eledia. And that is the finished look. Let's set this face in place. And let's talk about these products. Okay, so we have three products. No, we have four products. Let's go through them after order. So first, the foundation. Now, I do not know how it happened, but I was somehow able to fix it with some highlighter. But as you saw, I got a few patches from, I don't know what it was, but as a first time, I would not recommend getting this foundation just because I did not have a good experience overall. I am going to throw up a photo on the screen if I get to do it better with another technique, but it just dried way too fast. And yes, overall, it just dried way too fast. And of my three concealers that I tried, none of them were able to fix the patchiness that I got. So this one for now is a no for me. Now, the second product we have is the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. Now, I will give this a good chance and recommend, but I would not recommend it if you are just trying to do makeup and are new to it. If you have experience from before and if you have the money, if you have the money to this one, I would just recommend you getting the one from Makeup Mecca that I showed you earlier. I'm just gonna find it so you can see this one. I would recommend this one a 10 out of 10. This one I would give a 6 out of 10 just because there is not like, there is not much pigment when you first dip your sponge into it. So I am going to try it more, but for now it's a yeah for me. And then we have the, let's just do the gloss first. This normal gloss, you get this one, as I said, is in the shade Moon. This has a sparkle to it. Now that I have a nude lip on, you can't really see that. But I would recommend this. I mean, it's a gloss. And for the final and the like most important part of this video, the Sky High Mascara. Now, I would recommend this if you are like me, if you are going to put some fake lashes on and don't want your natural and real lashes to poke through, I would totally recommend this. I have another one that is like, I mean, it's a mascara, but I am going to have to try it just as a mascara without any liner or lashes. And you have seen that on the screen already. So for a full coverage queen like I am, I could definitely use this just to cover up my lashes to get ready for a lash moment. But was it worth the hype though? I'm not so sure. If you're like my mom, I would definitely recommend this because it dries very quick and it just colors your lashes really black. So mom, you might get this one. But overall, 
that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed and let me know down in the comments if you have tried any of these products before. Just I know I'm late to it for some of them. But yes, that is all I have for you guys today. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up down below. And as I said in the beginning, 62% of you are not subscribed. So definitely click that subscribe button and click on the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. If you want to follow me on my social Social media, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and Facebook. They're all at the Makeup by Sander and my Snapchat for more behind the scenes and everyday life and updates on future videos. You can click the link tree link down in the description. Just tap 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 in tap, tap, tap. and find the social media account you want to find me on. Alright, you guys, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed. I love you, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.